I think Ilamize does. Claudia, maybe, but problem is, is the fact that 74, 93, I think 93 would outspeed. 42's not. Fake out would, but I can't swap into this um, and expect to be okay. It's just my special defense. I swapped in. It's the fact that my special defense stat is not good. He went for fire punch. Okay. Come on, eat one. Just eat one. You should. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back for another episode of the Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Egglock. We are still here in the Ecruteek Dance Theater, taking on the Kimono Girls. Um, we're almost done. This is battle number four. Uh, are you fucking kidding me? Another snow warning? Give me a fucking break. I don't know how to speed. Okay, he goes for Wish. Um, this would be nice if, like, well, no, Wish won't go off until the end of the next turn, right? It'd be nice if I do over half. And I got my Wish. How ironic. Um, what? What are you gonna do? Spam Wish. Okay. Well, at least Pool can take out the Zatu rather easily. All right. Alakazam. Okay. The, you know. You know what? I'm okay with this because Alakazam cannot, cannot hit Shift Tree. Alakazam is scary, but. It's level up learn set is horrible. See, it swapped out immediately. And that's good. That's good for us because... Ooh, Ninetales has Intimidate. I'm pretty sure I knew that already, though. Um, that's good for us because that means as long as we keep Buckeye in the back at some point, Alakazam cannot come in and destroy us. Cannot come in and destroy us. So, nine tails. You're gonna go for fire move. Camera up should. Camera up to or um, Kingler would be the shout here, but nine tails because that's a stone evo is probably not gonna have anything great. Um, I'm I'm thoroughly shooketh at how much camera up has been kind of the carry. It's kind of been the carry since we lost uh, Kingdra. I, that's something I would not have expected, especially because I think I don't want to. I don't think Camera is terrible, but just because it has the quad weakness of water and whatnot, it has a fair few weaknesses. Like I just, I, I didn't expect it to pop off as much as it has been. That's just what I'm gonna say. All right, Floatzel. I actually probably should have went to Claudia. Oh no, we don't really have anything. Well, I could have waterfalled with Tinted Lens. Actually, Tinted, tinted, tinted Lens Waterfall would have been insane on a Floatzel. Because Floatzel's primarily physical. But I think Choice Specs Thunder will still kill it. See, because Floatzel's not very bulky at all. That's fine. Good damage. He did a lot of damage with that Aqua Jet too, which is a little bit uh, concerning for me. So I don't want anything happening to our Air Man. Furret. Um, Furret can't. Furret can't do a whole lot. We go Claudia. We go Claudia for this. Uh, 
All right, and we take this turn because for it, like I said, I isn't going to be able to do a whole lot. I honestly think, I honestly think I keep Buckeye the way he is right now. I think Air Matt needs the HP more. Goes for Sucker Punch. Okay. Um, That's fine. I say I probably, I mean, I don't know if I kill you in one hit. I do a lot of damage. I could knock off. Now nah, we go Waterfall. We go Waterfall. Stab is better in this case. We got a crit. I want to say that crit probably mattered. I want to say that crit probably mattered. Alakazam's coming back out. We have our wall in Guacai. Um, You know what I could do, actually? Instead of trying to fake out the Alakazam, I should just Leech Seed. Because I lose nothing even if you swap into a Grass type. I mean, you might have Swift. But I also don't think you would swap out if you had Swift. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think you would have swapped out if you had Swift. And do I get more HP back? Then the hail does damage. I do. I do, I do, I do. I'm gonna faint attack anyways. Oh, the swap out. What do we go into? Umbreon. I don't think Umbreon does much to me either. So I think I try to leech see the Umbreon. Because I don't think it does any damage to me. Fan attack? How much does that do? And I should get more HP back from this thing than I was the Alakazam. Okay, so we made it through this battle. Um, I think we have, what, one more potion? We have one more potion? Oh, yeah, we get a chunky HP back. Um, let me just check. Yeah, we have one more potion. Okay, so that's actually... That's actually probably good for us. Um, Claudia or... Air, now we go Air Man. Because whatever damage this thing does to me i'm gonna get however much hp back what 17 is what we took away so i don't think fan attack's gonna do it's not gonna do that much um Yeah, we got a we get a lot of HP back, and then Bug Buzz is gonna kill from this range. All right, 970 XP, level 43. Alakazam comes in, and we win with Shiftry. Should I heal? Is it smart for me to try to heal with a uh, Buckeye right now or try to save the potion for potentially later? I think we save the potion for potentially later. Because I think a faint, a faint attack is either going to come really close to killing Alakazam or it is going to kill Alakazam. Because Alakazam is paper fragile. It does not matter if this is base 60. All right, one more. And we're getting 11 Gs for this, so we'll definitely have enough money for potions after this. All right, last kimono girl. Now what the fuck am I supposed to do to this thing? Um, I hope you go for a fire move.
Yes. Oh, he's got crimes. Okay. I know Heatran... I don't think Heatran's that much of an attacker. I was worried. But luckily, we don't have any sort of weather effect where I'm getting damaged. Because that's the, that's that was the last two battles that we just did. Oh, really? Oh, fucking really. I'm just gonna heal. This is where I used the last potion. So this is gonna be crucial. And this is probably where we might lose somebody. But there's really no other time for us to use a potion right now. There's really no other time. Okay, defense drop, that's fine. I'm probably swapping out this turn anyways. Um, it does not matter to me. I'm more than likely swapping out this turn anyways. Pulls level 43. Magmortar. I'm not swapping out. But I don't think Magmortar is hitting me on the physical side of anything, so... Flamethrower. It's going to hurt, but it's not going to... It shouldn't do that much. It did more than I expected. I need this to kill. I need this to kill. That did not kill. Oh, this is a tough choice, because I don't know what outspeeds Magmorts are. I think Illamise does. Claudia, maybe, but... Problem is, is the fact that 74, 93, I think 93 would outspeed. 42's not. Fake out would, but I can't swap into this um, and expect to be okay. It's just my special defense. I swapped in. It's the fact that my special defense stat is not good. He went for fire punch. Okay. Come on, eat one. Just eat one. You should. You did not. Again, didn't really get the didn't really get the full ability to use a fucking Kingler. I thought 60 HP would definitely have been enough to take a fucking flamethrower. It's resisted. Clearly fucking not. And 74 speed was not enough to outspeed either. I mean, we have to go air mat. And we have to kill with bug buzz. Like, there's really, there's really no room for discussion here. All right, before I get roasted in the comment section. That was the fastest mod on my team. And we know for sure that Magmortar here does not have any sort of speed boost item like a Choice Scarf, Quick Claw, or a Custat Berry. So the only way he probably outsped me was the fact that he was a higher level than me. You know what's even worse? I have no potions left, and there's still four other Pokemon I have to get through. And I have a team that is quarter health, half health, and probably 75%. Um, now, Buckeye, hopefully, hopefully can kill with a fake out here. Otherwise, we lose. Scizor.
He's too low. He's way too low. I have to make a sacrifice play here. And to be honest, that is hoping I get a paralysis. Sandstorm, are you fucking kidding me? Dude? Iron defense? Wait, that that's fine. I need the paralysis bad. I need the paralysis bad. That does nothing. And I don't get the paralysis either. Come on, I need the paralysis. We lost. We lost. I can't, I can't believe it. Because we don't have, we don't have enough potions. We don't outspeed. He would have to throw right now. He would have to throw right now. And he's not doing that. Um. Because he's going to outspeed. He's going to outspeed everything. That's kind of crazy. That's, that is all I can say. <laughs> that is all I can fucking say. You know, you know, there's a small part of me, right? That's like, okay. There, there definitely could have been a moment where I could have followed like similar to the master mode and whatnot, where we just, every time we beat a gym, that's a new check mark level. And that's how it should go. And with that small part of me, I probably should have taken that chance when I got it. Um, now, another thing um, is the fact that of the... series that we have this year um when it comes to difficulty and whatnot 
it would do i think this series was the most difficult one that i had had no it was gonna be hard but i was expecting the end game to be hard not when it rammed up to the final gym of johto because this is now the second time that we have attempted a heart gold soul silver series of some sort whether it was heart gold soul silver or it was sacred gold where we have not made it out of Johto alive. And this is not like master mode where I have a three rules thing. This is this is 100% a one life and you're done type deal. So we lost and our Nuzlocke win streak that we've had for the entirety of 2023 has snapped. Um, and that bothers me. It does bother me, but I think what bothers me more is the fact that I I could have probably prepped a little bit more for the kimono girls and whatnot because the thing was is we just had to get through the last battle. Um now if I was level 49 on everybody, could we have gone through that a lot easier? Probably. There definitely would have been more when it came to roles where we would have had more roles in our favor in the fact that we would have killed things in one hit and not needed a second turn to kill something. Um, but it also doesn't change the fact that we had to fight 30 Pokemon in a row. And if you see what we had in terms of power, that was going to be a very tall task to do in the first place um that was that was gonna be a tall order like no no surprise there um and again <laughs> a lot of a lot of what happened there was a lot of bad luck like looking looking at the fact that we were doing a series where we were randomizing what it is was in our eggs um to make it things that i haven't used before now i think what i want to do going forward is i would like to do a challenge where i do go through the generations of pokemon and use pokemon specifically of that generation that i haven't used before so if i come back and do gen uh johto again it would just be generation two pokemon which you can tell from our box here we had three and kingdra delibird and porygon 2 which i've used porygon 2 before but i'm saying like very rarely this box will be very, very different. And you see that there's a lot of Generation 3 mods in here that we used. And Gen 4. So, I would like to do that going forward. I think this is still a good series idea. But here's, here's the premise of why I'm definitely saying we were unlucky. So, there's some mods in here that were going to be bad. There, like That was not a doubt. But, like... The fact that we had... I don't think it's in this box. We had some legendaries in here. Oh, maybe it's in this box. It's in here somewhere. I know we had some legendaries in here. Petra, Thundercat. That was a Raikou. That was a Raikou we never hatched. And that was something that would have been insane for us to help us out in some battles. You want to know why? Because it was a legendary and it would have been fast. But you want to know what the legendaries we hatched were? Mesprit? Deoxys, which we never got the chance to use either Deoxys, which I probably should have. Um, and Fion. Again, luck of the draw, I understand that. But look at what is in our box right now and try to convince me what is good in the box that I have right here. 
Deoxys is probably it. Kangaskhan, I, you can make the argument, is good. Otherwise, what the hell else did I have in here that could have helped me get through the rest of this game? So I needed some good pulls. And when we go back and look at my death box, there were some good pulls in here. Like, Hippowdon would have been great if we got it and it didn't have Drizzle. Rotom would have been great if I didn't get killed by, what, a Hyperfang from a Rotata? And li listen to that sentence. I got killed by a fucking Rotata. No, it wasn't a, it wasn't a Hyperfang because I'm a ghost type. It was Crunch. Think about that. I got killed by a fucking Rotata with Crunch. And that took one of my best mods for me so early on. Kingdra. I'm pretty sure died to a crit thrash. One of the best typings you could have in the entire game. And Dragon and Water. Pre-Generation 6. Dragon and Water was incredible. Too bad. Um... What else did we have in here that was garbage? Oh, slow start Cherum. While it doesn't affect its attack stat at all, look at this thing's speed stat. 73. Automatically has 36 speed because of slow start. And I have to wait five turns for it. Horrible. Garbage. Um. What else? Our shift tree. Stall shift tree. Am I saying this thing was the fastest thing in the world? No, but 79 speed could have helped me somewhat. Could have helped me a hell of a lot more in situations, but I had to play around the fact that I had stall instead of just going in. So I'm gonna be salty about it because we had a good Nuzlocke win streak just end. And there were some things that I definitely think I could have done better. There were definitely things that I know were my fault. But it also doesn't change the fact that in a Nuzlocke type where it's randomized and I'm trying to use mods that I've never used before, we got screwed over because we got bad luck. And I'm not sure if I really want to... Um, hatch all the eggs. I kind of want to leave that as a surprise for stuff that you see in the future. Because like I said, I would like to do another type of this series with um, just certain generations of Pokemon. Because I think that would make for an entertaining series. But um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit miffed. I'm a bit upset that uh, it, this is over now. I mean, it takes a little bit of stress off of me because this would have been a long series, but I'm still upset because I would have liked to make it a lot further. But you can't win them all. And it's one of those things. Uh, I was going to say, I think the last time we lost was Sacred Gold. That's not true. It would have been Renegade Platinum. Uh, but it's been, it's been a good run. It was a good run of Nuzlocke's where we didn't lose just so happens that we lost this one and you know what i'm surprised we made it this far before we got popped because elite four would have been a challenge kanto could have been a challenge um elite four rematches all that stuff that was gonna it was gonna be a challenge um and it was a challenge that i was completely up for um so it is what it is we're gonna are going to pick ourselves up. We're going to get better for next time. Um, and you know what? We're going to be excited because you want to know why? We're going to jump straight into Generations Master Mode after we're done with Scarlet and Violet DLC. So I'm excited about that. And hopefully you are too. If you're excited for it, you should hit that subscribe button if you want to see more from this guy. Um, F's in the chat because that was a sad way to go out. But we ran the gauntlet as far as we could before it was over. If we had a couple more potions, I think we could have we could have made something happen. It is what it is. If you guys enjoyed this series, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you want to see more from me. 
see you guys later. Peace out.